Talcon here once again. Hopefully this doesn't go up late like it did yesterday. I don't need to have a two-day losing streak here. But anyway, um, so we've got a lot to go through comic-wise. So let's just get started. I also like to preface this by you might hear some noise in the background. That's just roommates talking, but whatever. Let's just go with it. So first up, Wolverine... The Ultimate Wolverine issue one, part of the Legacies arc. So, um, I'm not a fan. That's all I have to say to the, really, I'm not a fan. Uh, it was an okay story. It deals with Ultimate Wolverine's identity because Ultimate Wolverine's actually the son of Logan. Logan's dead. There was a whole thing. He sacrificed himself. There's some plot going on with his mom. It's not that interesting. It, it, it it's just not that interesting for me personally um i could it feels like it might be building up to something but it's not something that the issue one did not grab me and i don't think i'll be picking up issue two i might um, it's up in the air but currently i really don't think i will be so issue one was kind of left out let's move on to the next one which i did find a bit more interesting issues 22 to 24 of Ultimate X-Men. Um, so they've been dealing in the Ultimate Universe. The X-Men have been dealing with um, having become a sovereign state within America. They were given this really irradiated land with no with no space to grow anything because it's all just barren and dry with no it's quite a bad place to live but the government has finally given them something and they've been dealing with that interpolitics where mocks mock 10 or whatever her name is um is trying to usurp kitty pride's current kind of presidential role over the remaining mutants because they just went from being in concentration camps basically to getting their freedom and being accepted as american citizens there's this whole entire plot about all the mutations being due to an experiment by the american government so there's some politics going on there it's kind of interesting um i it's all everything that's been going on in ultimate universe x-men universe has been very interesting i say pick up every single issue it is a little harder to just kind of jump in the middle but um issue 22 does a pretty good job at acting as a jumping on point i'd say um there. so yeah i'd say Right now, Ultimate X-Men is definitely worth reading. Let's move on. Finally, we've got in the Venom War, Venom, Venom War Saga, Ultimate Spider-Man issues 20 and 21. So, um, as many people know, the Ultimate Spider-Man series has killed off their Peter Parker. They've got a new Spider-Man. He's a black kid. He's about... 10 or 12 years old, I can't remember for sure. He also a private school. He grew up in the Bronx. Isn't that rich? He got in on like this lottery scholarship. It was the most <laughs> just ridiculous thing ever, but it's a comic, so it's okay. Um right now it's very still very much dealing with this new Spider-Man trying to figure out what makes him unique from Peter, why he's going to survive. He's constantly worried whether or not he's making the right decisions. It really explores the whole superhero phenomenon and like whether or not being a superhero is the right decision to do with your powers because there's a lot he brings danger to his family and he knows and realizes that and he's having trouble rationalizing whether or not he's making the right decision. He's recently um, kind of teamed up with Mary Jane Watson and what's her name? Gwen Stacy. And it's kind of very interesting what's going on right now. I love his um, 
Parker and Kai. Um, Parker and Kai. His name is. I'm going to cut while I look up his name in the comic. Okay. He is a um, Parker and Kai Donkey. He's another. He's this fat kid. He's really. Um, he's not a afraid to embrace his inner nerd. Still collects Lego and everything. Is just a really awesome character. It's really funny and has a heart of gold. And I don't know. I just really relate to this kid. I don't know why. I just love this kid. <laughs> I'm really worried they're gonna kill him. I just like just to put smiles through unnecessary torment. But for right now, the storyline is great, and I'm loving everything to do with Ultimate Spider-Man and. Honestly, ish, I wouldn't say pick up, ish, if you wanted to jump in, don't pick up issue 20, issue 18 or 19. 19 is a pretty okay starting point, I think 18 might be a little bit better, if not 16. So there you have it, um, like I said, that I was going to talk about a few more comics, I've done that. There's really nothing more to say, I don't know what tomorrow's video is going to be like, but it'll be fun, so see you soon. Keep on gaming, don't forget to be awesome, like this video, hit those buttons down there, the like one, the favorite one, whatever you want to do. If you thought it was horrible, troll me in the comments, I just might troll back. Maybe I won't, maybe you want to see that, so, I don't know, troll me, maybe, I don't know, have fun with it.